Hey YouTube. So today I'm going to do problem number 67 from um, chapter 4 on the section on Norton and Thevenin equivalent circuits. So the first thing is, is that Norton and Thevenin equivalent circuits are just source transformations of each other. Um, so once you find one, you can always find the other just by doing source transformation. So we're looking for a Norton equivalent circuit, which is um, a circuit, all the circuit elements from the point of view of a load in terms of a single um, independent current source. So some I short circuit, and that's going to be the short circuit current that flows through the load in parallel with some equivalent resistance. So some R feminine. And that's going to be identical to a source transformation of V feminine in series with some R feminine. So though, that's what we're looking for. And to do that, um, hang on one second, my pen's dying. So to do that, first we, um, the strategy that I'm going to use is I'm going to find the short circuit current through the load, short the load, and find the short circuit current. That's going to be my I short circuit. And then I'm going to disable all the um, independent, independent power sources in order to see and see what the load, what resistance is seen by the load to find my R feminine. And that's how I'm going to find my um, Norton equivalent circuit. Okay, so let's, that's our strategy. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, the strategy I'm going to use is shorting the load to find the short circuit current. So here was my load. I'm going to short it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use the mesh method to find my short circuit current. So in this mesh, we have four amps flowing. And then in this mesh, we have some unknown IA. And in this mesh, we have I short circuit. That's the short circuit current that flows through the load. So let's write our mesh equation. So mesh at 4 amps. So remember that the mesh um, method uses KVL, so we're looking for voltage drop. So this 4 amp independent current source has some unknown V4 amp voltage drop across it. So that voltage drop is going to be minus V4 amps. The next voltage drop is across the 8 ohm resistor, that's 8 times 4 minus I short circuit. And then the last one is 10 times 4 minus IA, all that sums up to zero. Hmm. Okay, so the next mesh equation is going to be mesh at IA. So our first drop is negative 60 plus 10 times IA minus 4 plus 40 times IA minus I short circuit. All that is zero. So our final mesh equation is going to be at I short circuit. So we've got 40 times I short circuit minus IA plus 8 times I short circuit ta minus 4. All that is equal to zero. So now we're going to make a 3 by 3 matrix because we have three equations and um, three unknowns. So, and then we're going to inventory the coefficients for, of the unknowns. So, our unknowns are IA, I short circuit, and V4 amp. Okay. And I'm just going to take a second to make sure everything is captured on screen. IA. Okay. Everything's visible. So in the first equation, we have negative 1 coefficient for V4 4 amps. And um, we have a 32 constant that will go on the side of constant as negative 32. And then we have negative 8 for I short circuit. And then we got a 40, which is going to go on this side as negative 40. And then we have a negative 10 for IA. That's the first line of our matrix. The second equation is negative 60, which will come on this side as positive 60. Then we have 10 IA and negative 40, um, which is going to come on this side as positive 40. And then we have um, plus 40 for IA. 
And then we have negative 40 for I short circuit. And then zero occurrences of V for amps. Then we have um, the third equation. We have 40 I short circuit. Negative 40 I A. Um, 8 I short circuit plus 8. And then negative 32, which will go on the other side, is positive 32. And that's our 3 by 3 matrix. So now let's um, input that information into our simultaneous equation solver and solve, and solve it. So we have a 3 by 3 matrix, negative 10, negative 8, negative 1, negative 32, Minus 40 is the first line. 10 plus 40, negative 40, 0. Um, 60 plus 40, that's the second line. And then negative 40, 40 plus 8, 0, and 32 solve. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick second to verify my answer so I'll confuse people with mistakes. Okay, so that is what I got the first time. So, what you should have found was that I, um, IA, so you should have come up with IA is 7.6 amps, I short circuit is 7 amps, and V4 amps is negative 60 volts. Okay, so that is, so this is part one of what we're looking for. So we need an I short circuit. Now the next part in writing our feminine equivalent circuit is finding our feminine. This circuit has is um, all independent sources, so we can use we can disable the independent um, sources in order to find the resistance that's seen by the load. So let's redraw the circuit with uh, and we disable the independent sources by um, opening current independent current sources and shorting voltage sources. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 10 here. We have, we're going to disable, short the um, voltage source. We've got 40 here. We're going to open the current source and then ask what is the, the resistance seen by the load. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm missing 8 amps. So sometimes, in my opinion, it's hard to see the relationship, and in my opinion, this one is easier to see. I have connection here and a connection here, so this here is 10 in parallel with 40. That's 10 in parallel with 40. And then once I reduce that to a single resistance, that's going to be 8 in series with um, with 10 in parallel with 40. This is connected to this end, or this end, it doesn't matter, but but this end is what makes this a series connection. So, so just so you can see that, well actually, so this all reduces to 8 plus 10 in parallel with 40, and that should be 16. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw our, feminine, our Norton equivalent circuit. And that's going to be 7 amp in parallel with 16 ohms. And just to emphasize that they're the same, and they are just source transformations of each other. So you do a source transformation. And your Norton equivalent or your feminine equivalent circuit should be 112 in series with 16K. So this is the Norton. This is the feminine. Okay. Be sure to like and share. And uh, good luck in your in your um, term.